In her groundbreaking work, The Second Sex, Simone de Beauvoir dedicates a section titled Myth of Women in Five Authors to dismantling the pervasive stereotypes surrounding women in literature. She argues that these portrayals don't reflect reality but rather perpetuate a constructed image of femininity that limits women's potential. De Beauvoir identifies the recurring theme of the eternal feminine across various literary works. This myth portrays women as embodying specific, unchanging qualities like passivity, emotionality, and dependence on men. These depictions deny women their individuality and reduce them to one-dimensional characters defined solely by their relationship to men. De Beauvoir meticulously analyzes the works of five prominent authors, Stendhal, Balzac, Flaubert, Zola, and Dostoevsky. While their approaches differ, she argues that all five contribute to the myth of the eternal feminine. Stendhal, for example, presents women as obstacles to male achievement, while Flaubert portrays them as victims of their own emotions. De Beauvoir challenges the notion that the myth of women is rooted in biology. She argues that biology, like social and cultural constructs, shapes women's experiences. However, it doesn't determine their essence or limit their potential. Women are not simply defined by their bodies and reproductive functions. Literature plays a crucial role in both perpetuating and challenging the myth of women. De Beauvoir acknowledges that authors can reinforce the myth through their stereotypical portrayals. However, she argues that literature also has the power to break free from these limitations and present women in all their complexity. Interestingly, de Beauvoir finds Stendhal to be somewhat of an exception. While he contributes to the myth, he also portrays a few women who defy expectations. These characters exhibit intelligence, ambition, and a desire for self-determination, hinting at the possibility of transcending the limitations imposed by the myth. De Beauvoir emphasizes the importance of context in understanding women's experiences. The social, economic, and cultural circumstances surrounding a woman significantly influence her life path and the choices available to her. The myth, however, often ignores these contextual factors, presenting women as a homogenous group defined solely by their sex. De Beauvoir argues that literary portrayals are often incomplete and distorted reflections of women's lived experiences. Women's realities encompass a vast spectrum of emotions, desires, and struggles that go beyond the limitations imposed by the myth. Literature should strive to capture this lived experience in all its complexity. The core of de Beauvoir's critique lies in her call to celebrate female individuality. Women are not simply passive figures confined by the myth of the eternal feminine. They are individuals with diverse experiences, desires, and the potential to shape their own destinies. Literature should reflect this rich tapestry of human experience rather than perpetuate limiting stereotypes. De Beauvoir's analysis remains relevant today. While strides have been made towards more nuanced portrayals of women, the myth of the eternal feminine continues to exert its influence. By recognizing its presence in literature and other cultural spheres, we can move towards creating a more accurate and empowering representation of women.